What's up everybody? My name is Jonathan. Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day. Today we're going to be talking about the LG G8X. This is LG's latest flagship and it's been a long time since I got, you know, excited for an LG phone. But after using this one, this is a phone that I think you should know about. And in fact, I think that this is the most underrated phone of 2019 and this is eight reasons why I think that. The first reason comes down to price. The LG G8X is a $699 phone. Now for that price, you get a Snapdragon 855, 128 gigabytes of storage, and six gigabytes of RAM. If you look at equivalent flagships that are on the market, that's a pretty big difference in terms of price. Reason number two is the dual screen case. This thing is awesome. And the fact that LG is giving it to you for free practically with the cost of the phone is incredible. So for anybody that wants to experience what a foldable phone would be like in terms of having two different windows or two different screens, you're able to do that with the G8X without breaking the bank and paying $2,000 to $1,500 for that feature. Plus, this isn't embedded into the design of the phone. So when you don't need the dual screen, you can just take the phone out of the case. And now it's a slimmer form factor to fit in your pocket. I really like that. Not to mention the screen on the case is actually the exact same panel as the one being used on the G8X, which is a 1080p panel. It has the same exact color accuracy, same exact brightness, same sharpness. So everything is going to be very cohesive when you're using the two side by side. But the downside of this is the fact that since it is the same panel, the dual screen case also has a notch, just like the G8X, but I can live with that. Now, typically I would think that this is nothing but a gimmick, but after using it, I say having the dual screen case is a game changer. You can do a lot of things like running side-by-side -side apps. You can run three apps at once even. You have different features for gaming, including the ability to turn one of the screens into a virtual controller, making your gaming a little bit more immersive. You can also use it as a tripod if you're watching a video and you don't want to prop up your phone or don't have a kickstand. And you can also use it as a viewfinder for getting low angled shots. Pretty cool. Reason number three, the LG G8X has an SD card slot. In a world where SD card slots are phasing out, LG still managed to give you one inside of their most recent flagship. The only other phone that I can think of that is equipped with one in terms of being a flagship is the Galaxy Note 10 Plus and you're paying a lot more for that phone. Reason number four, it has a headphone jack. Just like the SD card slot, companies are phasing out the headphone jack, so it's really nice to see LG giving you both of those in one phone. And to go one step further, you still get the quad DAC with that headphone jack. So definitely awesome. Reason number five, this thing has a 4,000 milliamp hour battery with fast wireless charging and fast cable charging. And when you look at the price point of this phone compared it to other flagships, I think that's pretty impressive. Reason number six, it has an in-display fingerprint scanner. Granted, it's not the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner that's found in the Galaxy Note 10, Note 10 Plus, or the Galaxy S10, but it's really fast. In fact, I would compare it to the OnePlus in-display fingerprint scanner. It's maybe not as quick, but it's still really fast and much faster than the ultrasonic fingerprint scanner found on the Note 10 and Note 10 Plus. Reason number seven, this thing is built like a tank, so you don't have to worry about babying your phone. In fact, when I was on vacation, I dropped it like three times because it kept sliding out of my pocket and uh, there's no cracks, there's no shatters, there's no damage to the screen. There's a few little chips on the corners, but that's about it. So that IP68 rating definitely makes a difference, especially when you look at the price point again of this phone. And finally, reason number eight is the camera. While it's not as good as the Pixel 4 or Pixel 4 XL or the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro, it's still good for LG. They fixed a lot of the things that have plagued LG cameras in the past, and they've improved it while also adding new features. You get a standard and a wide camera on the back, but something that I've never seen on any other phone is it has a fisheye mode that you can activate for stills and for video. It's not as prominent in video, but you could definitely see it for stills. You get 4K up to 60 frames per second on the rear camera, and you get 4K on the front camera with stabilization. To me, that's a win. There's also a new ASMR mode. This is something that I've never seen on any other phone, just like the fisheye effect. It is a bit gimmicky since all it's doing is increasing the sensitivity of the mic and raising the volume. But I think with some software improvements, it could be a lot better. It's just nice to see a unique feature to LG phones that I have not seen on any other flagship. So kind of cool. 
You get portrait mode video on the front and back cameras. Again, a nice touch. Plus you have manual control for your video and your photos, something that Samsung took away with their latest One UI updates. And um, yeah, I'm really happy to see manual control for video. So thumbs up to LG for that. And the last thing is the fact that the front facing camera is now 32 megapixels, which is a major bump from previous iterations. And we all know that megapixels aren't everything, but there has been some processing improvements here to go along with that higher megapixel count. So you're gonna get some great selfies. Well, that about does it for this video. Let me know down in the comment section. What do you think of the LG G8X? Do you agree with me on it being the most underrated phone of 2019? Or do you disagree? Sound off down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more content just like this. And I'll talk to you amazing people in the next video.